Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming back and joining us on the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. My name is uh, Gwendolyn Song, and I'm here today to share a prophetic message that I received from the Lord this morning. It is a very heavy one, and it is a dire call for prayer and repentance across the USA. It's a call for the church to take action. God is so merciful and long-suffering, but he is also saying that a grave judgment is coming to the USA of the likes which we have never seen in our lifetime. He's also saying there's no healthy fear of him in the land. I would ask you to kindly share this message with those who have ears to hear what the spirit of the living God is saying to the church at this hour. And unfortunately, that is not all people who call themselves Christians, but those who are truly walking in the Holy Spirit's uh, unction. So I will go ahead and read this message. And it begins like this. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. You are guilty, my church. You have ignored my golden rule. You were to be my light in a darkened world. But you have forgotten the stranger in the way. You have stopped getting up in the night to pray. My church sleeps comfortably on her pillow while her children are being carried away. Why have you left your first love, my church in the USA? Where are your tears? Where is your fasting and weeping at the altar? Why have you not lifted up your enemies at the gates of your nation? I am giving you only a little more time, my church in the USA. Your stench is unto me as a rotten meal regurgitated in front of my feet. Your meals of caviar and seltzer drinks. You have no shame. You do not pray. You do not repent. You do not forgive. You do not let go of grudges, nor pray for the lost or the unborn. If you do not want to take a stand for the children I have given you, I will allow more of your children to be taken away, away into captivity, into far off lands. I have blessed you, USA. My blessings are almost at their end. Who will stand beside you when the bombs come, when the troops go door to door and carry you into FEMA camps? Who will stand beside you when you have no churches to pray in? The crosses will be removed from your land. Take this as a warning, my saints in the USA. You must come back to your prayer stations with fasting and prayers and tears for your land. Your land will soon be desolate. Desolate, I say, and you remain apathetic as though you believe none of my end times messages. I am giving you only a small window of time to return to me, USA. It is the prayers of the righteous that will move my heart. Where does it say in my word that I will listen to the prayers of the lukewarm, the indifferent, the lazy, the reprobate, the cowardly, the porn addicted in my church? Please repent, return to your first love, and take a righteous stand for your nation. Your time is running out. The ice is about to break. The Titanic is about to go down. This is one of my final messages. Will you heed this one? Please share it with those who have ears to hear. And it is signed, King Jesus. I received this message from King Jesus this morning, friends. And he is saying that we need to do unto others as we would have them do unto us. So this is a very serious warning from the Lord. The Lord is uh, expressing his great disappointment in his church here in the USA. And it is the burden of the church to lift up the lost, the dying, the poor, the stranger in the way, which means the migrants who are coming across our border. 
So don't look down upon anyone, friends, but keep your heart and your eyes on the Lord. It is time for the church to show action, not lip service, to walk in the Spirit, to allow the power of the Holy Spirit to aid us in proper repentance and turn away from sin. We cannot do that without spending time in our secret place and with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can properly repent. And we need to walk in the righteousness of God. So this weekend, I know I'll be, I'll be on the phone and I'll be knocking on some doors of my neighbors, gathering them together to pray with us here, calling friends and family on the phone over the weekend. We ourselves, we will be in fasting and prayer and repentance. So friends, may those who hear this message also show the Lord your heart in this. We have a mandate from God here. Let's obey it, all right? Well, we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a blessed weekend filled with prayer. God bless.